I'm Sam Evans, I'm the project manager for the Vulcan to the Sky Trust. Uh, the project we're involved with here is building a plane with uh, students from Doncaster Technical College and with local air cadet squadrons. And the aircraft we have is a Sherwood Ranger, which is a light aircraft. A uh, biplane looks very much like a Tiger Moth, built with modern construction techniques. It's assembled from a kit provided by the light aircraft company in Little Snoring. A local businessman who'd started to build the kit for his own use, uh, he decided he wasn't going to have enough time, so he donated a fuselage kit for us. That's partially built, um, but needs completing. The wing kit, the main plane kit, was donated by the Light Aircraft Association Educational Trust. The project's been ongoing for about, for about three weeks now. I'm um, in the three weeks. The kids have uh, started assembling the wing ribs, and uh, that's as far as we've got. So, carry on from there. Another thing that the kids will learn about is how aircraft components are stored when the aircraft is under maintenance. The racking here has got uh, basically got all the wing kit on it and the remains of the fuselage kit which has been sold on to us. They'll learn how to read the drawings. Each part, individual part, has a separate part number. So they learn to read the drawings, read the instructions and install the correct part in accordance with the drawing and they'll learn about how, why that's important to maintain the build standard of the kit. This is a set of wing, wing ribs with all the cap and strips which have been adjusted so they're ready to fit and the next stage now is to glue the, clap, the cap and strips onto the ribs. We've just glued the ribs to the wood for the frame of the wing. So I'm just doing taking off the glue so it doesn't stick to any other part. And you stick the wooden clamps back on to ensure that it's stuck together and safe for other people to use. The sort of things that the kids will learn, the way the aircraft is controlled, the flying controls work exactly the same on a biplane as they do on a jetliner. They'll learn about the way that the aircraft actually works, how it stays in the air. They'll learn about the discipline, if they've made a mistake, to admit they've made a mistake. Um, they'll learn how to put a mistake right, how to rectify a fault. They'll learn about the paperwork and the legislation that's involved. Um, the aircraft is going to be on a permit to fly with the Light Aircraft Association but that's administered on behalf of the, of the CIA. So we get in a lot, get involved with the legislation that's come down from the Civil Aviation Authority. All of the tool control is run very much in the same way as the Air Force does it. Um, my background is Royal Air Force. I was taught how to control tools with a little two-seater biplane. It's not that easy to lose a tool. If you're working on a modern jet aircraft, you may find at the end of the day there's one tool missing. So all the tools are laid out on a tool board. Um, there's a shadow for each tool. Whenever they use a tool, they're taught to tag the tools out um, so you know which student is using which tool. Hi, I'm Amy. I'm from Doncaster College and I'm doing the Build a Bit Plane project. I'm doing it for my own leisure. I'm doing it to progress onto cabin crew. I'm just basically doing it to enjoy the aviation industry and get a different insight into engineering. I'm also working alongside the Vulcan engineering team who maintain the Vulcan bomber. <laughs>